Hey, what's up, you guys? Josh in the wind. Ryan mentality one. You guys saw that last one that absolutely smoked me. I have no clue what it is, but fish the same zone. I got another one. Ah, oh, man. And this one's doing the same thing. He's tooling me. We're fishing the Lucky Craft Flash Middle 110 here. Dude, we're just surf fishing, you know, it's a windy day. He said, heck, why not? Let's try it out and dude, let's hope I can land this one. Whatever, whatever it is, freaking, it's huge. Whatever it is, huge. And we just want to see it, man. Wish me luck, man. We're, we're going to get him. This one's not supposed to be like the last one. The last one snapped like half my line off. I put on some brand new 30 pound braid on here, 15 pound leader, and uh, let's see if I can work this thing. this again oh whatever I just want to see him but I just want to know what it is man it's freaking smoking me I'm just crossing my fingers and then it doesn't spool me like the last one literally the last one took me down to about five wraps of line it was gone. I couldn't do anything about it. I felt so hopeless. <laughs> oh no. No, he woke up. Come on. Hey, that's, a great, that's a great thing about fishing a surf. You never know what you're gonna hook, how big of a fish. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drop it again. Dude, maybe it's John. tired. No. No. Gotta play them out. Still have a lot of life. As of right now at least. Putting as much pressure as I possibly could in this sucker. Oh bro, what is it? It's just sitting on the bottom. Dogging me. Oh. My rod's fully loaded down. Full fendo. Oh man. Dude. What the heck? There he goes. I'm going a little bit higher. That way I get a higher angle on him. Oh no. Just realized his hook. No. No. See it earlier, guys? I don't even think the fish realized it was hooked yet. It, it just realized freaking like, oh shit, I got a lure in my face. Oh man, we just want to see what the heck it is. Come on, 
on, show me your face at least. Whoa. Bro. What do you think it is? What do you think it is, Josh? I want to say it's going to be a 60 pound halibut. Dude, Albino. Albino. Hey, I caught, I caught Albino one here before. <laughs> Freaking, I, I was tripping out. I was like, wait a minute. It's upside down. I'm like, I flipped it up to the other side. And it was white on both sides. There's a trip. You get it jumping out of the water. It was right here. Ah, oh, dude. He was literally right here. Hey, good thing is I still have line. I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy that uh, it's not smoking me like the last one. Literally, the last one, guys, I had no chance. He just says, laters. No, surfers are coming. Oh, uh, yeah, we're gaining some line. Dodge the surfboards and the surfers. And I, man, he's smoking me. Let it do what it does. If not, you're gonna snap your line, break your rod, you know, or pull the hook on a fish. Because the wires on these hooks aren't that thick, but when you have them on freaking three treble hooks in a face, you hope that's a good hook set. Oh yeah, and we're fighting a wave as well. <laughs> It might be better here to right because he has less surface ever to swim, right? Yeah. 
Oh, there's a ditch right there in front of you. <laughs> oh, God! It drops oh, about God. four feet right in front. Oh, As you guys see, look straight out here. My line's like right underneath the surfer here. If my line goes into the board, they can chop it off with the fin of the surfboard. And you have to watch out for them. You don't want to get tangled up to the surfer and injure the surfer. But this, this guy's just going straight to the freaking ocean. Right when I thought I was getting some line on him, he's just freaking smoking me. He knows exactly where he's going. Right where like there's like 20 surfers out there. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh no. He's no. spooling you, bro. No. He's going straight for the ocean. Oh. No. Not again. He's like right underneath all the surfers ready, all 20 of them. And there's two swimmers gone. Josh, put the camera out there, look. Oh, he's right underneath the swimmer and the surfer. Usually, usually the surfers, us, we don't bother each other because they're way out there and we're casting pretty close, but. Right now, it's super sketchy. Safe. We're safe right now, Josh. We're safe, brother. <laughs> Two swimmers went over. The surfer just went over my line. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of line left. That. pressure on him. At this point in the fight, it's either I'm gonna slowly bring him in or he's gonna take all my line, so I gotta give him more drag. Fifty-five percent. All right, cool. An hour and thirty-three minutes of film. Perfect. <laughs> that don't mean take an hour and thirty-three minutes. <laughs> I'm hoping not, man. Shoot. Jonathan over here risking his life. Oh man. Rock surfers. Dude, this is freaking extreme. He's right there too. In the open zone. Not a surfer oh near us. Goodness. Oh yeah. You're getting some line back. I can't use the net on this one. 
It's too big. <laughs> I wish I had a harpoon. <laughs> I wish I had a boat I could chase him down with. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get a boat from <laughs> Oliver, I need that jet ski, bro. <laughs> He's got to be tired. No. Imagine just the biggest halibut of all time. Oh. <laughs> of like all time. World record. From the surf, bro. At this point, I'm reluctantly guessing it's a giant bat ray. But if it is, cool, whatever. <laughs> Kick my butt, that's what he's doing. <laughs> But it still could be a monster halibut. Yeah. Sometimes these giant halibut fight like this. They can kick their butt. They can't do anything about it. Just trying to suck in the bottom right here. Got to keep them moving. He got to tire it out sometime. He Working my, he's working my arms out, I'll tell you that. Alright, we gotta get a game plan, Josh. If it's a big helmet, and as soon as it gets up to shore, we just have to jump on his back and ride him like a horse. <laughs> like Old Town Road. Yeah. Literally, as soon as we get the chance, yeah, I just jump on him, bro. Straight up. Bro. I'll tell you when. Right here. What is it, guys? Job. Still got some energy in him. At least we saw what it is, guys. It's like a six foot freaking leopard shark. Huge. And he's gone again. Coming, he's tired. Oh, he's tired. He still got the energy, but he's tired. That's what you gotta do, you gotta wear him out. Either you wear out or shark wears out. <laughs> Fish wears out. So as gnarly as you guys think, when you hook these big sharks, what you gotta do is literally you gotta grab them by the tail and drag them up the beach. So that's what Josh is gonna do here. <laughs> While I'm holding the GoPro. As soon as it gets close. Yeah, exactly. 
Or, or, or when it gets close, maybe you should hand me the GoPro. And then freaking. Oh, you have two hands. You're going to need two hands for this guy. Take a picture. Let's watch it's, her actually, off. it's actually on video, so let's watch her off a little bit. Yeah, I think we even take a picture or video for us. Let's watch her off, and we'll hold her butt up sideways. Hey, bro, can you, can you take a photo, a video? Yeah. It's on video. You just still just record. Thank you. Uh, I'll get this one. Wash her off for a good picture. Let's hope she doesn't bite me. You guys don't understand how strong she is. But if you got you got on. Get it, hold it down. Hold it under his belly. Right over. Try to bite me. Bro. Ah. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, bro, take me. Take out like some. Like you video on yours? Okay, new video. Alright guys, I'll be getting smoked. Check this out, this is what I got. Big old giant leopard shark. 
Look how huge this thing is. Dude, freaking insane. Now you want a Mexican leader girl, I feel bad for the girl. I think she's full of uh, pups. You get the GoPro too? It's dark for the little girl. Okay. Keep it down like almost towards the water. Yeah. We're gonna let the big girl go. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Here we go. There it goes. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 